Hello, welcome to another year of school here at Fargo South High School. My name is Heather Guy. I am a high school English teacher and I teach English 4 and AP English 4. Uh, the first picture here, you have all of my contact info. So I have a couple of email addresses and my extension. If you feel like you need to leave a voicemail, I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Please, any questions, concerns, I want to hear from you. So please use any of those at your need. A couple of basic classroom expectations, uh, respect, diligence, perseverance, critical thinking, nothing too shocking or abnormal here. Uh, my basic belief that is as seniors, students are in final preparation to be successful after high school. So I seek to have a, have a classroom that functions in that similar situation. A couple of the policies, again, pretty simple, pretty limited. Uh, I'm doing a self-regulated cell phone policy, meaning uh, the students need to learn to when to balance when they're on their phone and when they're not. Um, obviously, if it's a major issue, I would step in, but I'm hoping that they can figure out when to use it and when to not to be successful. I have a no late work policy in my classroom uh, due to using class time and I give assignments in class so I can workshop with students on them. Uh, what we do, the literature is very difficult. I want to be able to be here with writing so I can work with the students. So that's my reason for no late work. Uh, I want them to use resources. They have so many resources at their fingertips. So I'm hoping to make them self-efficient and being able to rely to problem solve on their own and figure out how to get something taken care of and done. And then finally be respectful to me, to them, to their classmates, to the classroom. Pretty broad, pretty simple. A Couple of important class resources. Uh, the Daily Planner, also called EduCal. Uh, this is a school resource for teachers to post daily class activities, due dates, learning goals, basically anything a student needs for class is going to be on here. Um, all assignments will be digitally available through this resource, and the students can access those with their uh, personal learning devices. Um, all due dates will be posted here each day. And then the second piece is the turnitin.com, which is a website resource where all student work will be submitted to me for grading. It lets students know when we started the assignment, the due dates, and it shows if they and when they have submitted their assignments. So if they have not submitted, it will show them that. Uh, this is also gonna be the site the students are gonna be able to use to get feedback from me. Um, not that I'm not gonna talk to them also, but as far as giving them feedback on writing and their work and then editing assistance for their students writing also. So it's a pretty powerful tool that we'll be using all year long. Um, attendance and class time. I just want to make sure students are using those resources to check Daily Planner, EduCal, to find what was missed during their absences. Uh, they have the opportunity to meet with me before or after school or periods two, five, and eight to get assistance with anything, missed learning, questions, uh, anything I can do to make them be back on track. As far as class time goes, uh, all assignments, like I said, will be given class time to complete. Uh, they need to use the class time if they don't want homework. Uh, misuse of class time will not negate any of the due dates. So they're going to want to make sure that they're using their time appropriately and obviously using the resource of me while I'm here to help them with any of those assignments. Uh, English 4 overview. Uh, we will be surveying British literature. Uh, we will be doing lots with writing skills to prep them for when they leave me. Uh, we'll be doing some presentations and speeches. So they'll be practicing speaking and listening skills but the main goal is their preparation for post high school. And then also giving them those skills to tackle difficult reading outside of class. As far as AP English, um, very similar. Uh, along with preparation for the AP exam in May, uh, we will up the rigor with this coursework, uh, simulating uh, freshman, sophomore level English. So the hope is that they can get ahead in that post-secondary uh, credit earning and get on to their successful lives. So again, thank you and please contact me if you have any questions or concerns.